Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Star Drop! Uh, last I checked, we had to head to a lift. It should be right here, right? No, that's the bridge. Oh, I thought for a second my own footsteps was something. Uh, okay. This is not a horror game, I should not be this scared. Uh, airlock. There we go. That's your Star Trek reference for the day. This is a turbo lift. From TNG. At least. Kind of strange, though. Now that I think about it, I think Enterprise used the same kind of voice thingy. Aaron, you okay? Yeah, why? I know what you're thinking. How in God's name is Ido Hamada hailing us from the Star Drop? Yeah, that's another thing. Okay, so wait, 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 where am I going? Okay, so I hang a right, and then a left, and then I go straight. Okay. Right, left, forward. And that's it. Deck two, airlock. I actually just realized that that elevator that I took before didn't take me to the airlock, and I'm disappointed. Something tells me something's not right here. But we we were contacted by a dead guy. That, that's never a good thing. It's never a good thing. It's just GTFO. Call it a day. At least there's nobody here. Oh. Cutscene? Cutscene. Is that it? That can't be it. That cannot be it. Are we leaving? There's a dead guy in there. Thought we were just gonna, like get on the ship and try to assess the situation before going back in. Is that what's happening? Are we abandoning the... What happened? Can we, like, bring a message and then bring more help? Like, is that what's happening? Then we can at least figure out what's going on and, like, get some help so that we're not having to do this Light core horror game solo. That'd be good, right? I'd like to do a light core horror game with like 20 people that don't mysteriously die and I'm the last one. Oh, we're back home. Okay. Hello, kitten. Hello, kitten. You're good. You're good, kitten. You're a good boy. I assume you're a boy. That's probably not correct. There you go. Feed kitten. Well, okay, that happened. What ha- Why are we back on Earth? Was I not supposed to be? John Kinley. You know, Hamato was one of the last generation of pioneers before the industrial space boom. He explored vast regions of the galaxy serving on board the Columbiad. F I'm reading my email, phone, shut up. Fine. Where is it? Sup. No. No, I'm not. <clears throat> yeah. I'm okay, I guess. Why are, what's wrong?
Don't mention it. I mean, if the authority... What's the... We can go ourselves. It's the no. Stardrop. It's not some random ship we're talking about. I don't need to remind you what this would do to our reputation if we actually find it. Are we considering... What is Ido Hamada's connection to the Stardrop? I mean, it's insane. Here we have this elusive science vessel that went missing 50 years ago and presumably with its crew long gone and... And we receive an actual transmission from it? At the exact same time that I'm on the bridge of its dropship? And by none other than Ido Hamada? A dead guy? Ido Hamada, the last pioneer of his generation who supposedly passed away over 90 years ago. John, I'm sorry, I, I can't wrap my head around this. I know, that's why I'm calling you now. Are we... Yes. Yes, we are. I don't care. We found it, and I need to know what's going on. We're going. I need to um. We need to act fast, though. The SRO committee will want to inspect the ship as soon as we arrive. They're going to find out about the star drop eventually. I know. This will be an off-the-records mission. Finish up whatever you're doing, and we'll head out once you're back on board. I'll wrap up the report and send it in just before we leave. That should buy us enough time to explore the star drop. Sounds like a plan. I'll meet up with you in a bit. And, John, thanks for looking out. Yeah, no Can I finish reading my email? It was important. It was sent from you, I'm pretty sure. The story is interesting. on board the ship. Tragedy struck the crew of Columbia at will just two days before the ship was supposed to arrive back on Earth. One of the ship's main engines malfunctioned, rupturing one of its cooling tanks, which resulted in a meltdown and a large explosion that created multiple holes in the ship's hull. Oh, that's the Columbia, not the Star Drop. Okay. The Star Drop was intact. Mostly. The hull wasn't breached, as far as I recall. Mata found himself inside the med bay at the time of the accident and was able to seal the area off. Was I nudged by my cat? Nope. Okay, we're good. I saw a little bit and thought, hey, maybe I should, uh... Can I... Can I... Oh, the cat's already eaten. Yeah, it's whatever. You be good, kitten. I'm going out. I'm going out. You be good. Phone, what do you want with me? Nothing important. Okay. I really just ought to turn this thing off when I'm recording, or not to look at it. Then I see an email, and I think, well, shit, I am... Aaron? May need to check that. Hey, John, what's Almost up? There. Almost there to what? Oh. We really should probably get the authorities on this. I mean, are they really going to take credit for our work? Whoa. Kim. Kim. Stop it. Stop eating a penis. It's not cool. I need you to be functioning, you know. You know, like all that space age technology that we're talking about. So we're back on the star drop. Or were we on the star drop and and to begin with? Yeah, it looked like the star drop from before. Or did we just get the coordinates from the star drop? And we weren't even on it to begin with. I don't recall the ship quite looking like that though. It's been a week, okay? I have not played this game religiously. Ooh. This is it. Hope you're Zero ready. gravity mobility? Fuck yeah! Okay, Aaron, you'll have to use your suit's zero-g propulsion system to get on board. There's too much debris out there for me to safely dock the MCCV. Roger that. Fine. Can I open the door, or...? Oh, that's how I do it. Open her up, boy. Wait, what? 
that's... Oh, there we go. I'm in space, boy! Oh my god, this is slow. You off in front of the main airlock. It's just a few hundred yards away, but you shouldn't have any issues getting there. All right. Sounds good to me. I hope I'm not going to have any issues getting there. I'm in space right now. This is fucking rad, dude. Man, just look at this. I mean, I yeah, it's got to it's got to be some kind of fucked up because it looks like you're in the sky. I'm still running but, preliminary nah. scans, but much like the SD-01, it seems the ship's running on backup power. However, oh, so we were on the S we were on the SD-01. Okay, so this is a different ship. I'm also not able to detect any life signs. I am detecting movement, though. I suspect some of the maintenance androids are still in operation. So probably the same situation as last time. Well, this is certainly a different situation than the SD-01. I advise you take extra precautions and stay alert out there. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So... Am I screwed now? Did it just become a horror game? Am I gonna die? John, look at this. The ship actually has a working force field. Does it? Wow. I did not expect that. I'll scan the immediate vicinity that you're in. Um. There should be two control panels located on both sides of the entrance. If I'm not mistaken, all you need to do is match the frequency of both of the panels. This should power down the force field. Right. Okay, easy. I'll go take a look. It was around 30. And there we go. Easy. Copy that, Aaron. So, no life signs, huh? There was one suit How missing. Does that relate to Ido Hamada supposedly being on board then? There's one oh, suit missing. So Is this? The areas are shielded off from being scanned at all. This normally applies to military ships only. Not to mention how old the star drop is. That kind of tech was fairly new back then, and certainly not as sophisticated. Hmm. Yet, here we are. Yeah. Indeed, but yeah, it may be why I can't detect him. Or maybe he's not human at all. Can I get gravity now? Please? Can I just land? I would like to land now. As awesome as zero gravity travel is, I have a fear of heights, so being in space can't be super great. I'm inside the airlock, but it seems the artificial gravity generator is offline. Well, fuck. I mean, there's supposed to be gravity in here, right? Well, that's right, but as I mentioned before, my ship's a mess right now. There's power fluctuating across certain areas. Stay alert, you hear me? Don't worry. Promise to try. Any movements around here? Maintenance hatches. There's a what? There's a main lobby. So I guess I need to go down one of the maintenance hatches. That seems like a very good idea to start with. Hey, right, it's more force fields. Well, there's another force field blocking the elevator. That's no problem. I think there are two security panels located in the somewhere. Just keep an eye and don't forget to use your object scanner. What's my object scanner? John, you're breaking up. I'll look around and see what I can find. What's my object scanner again? Let me let me look that up real quick. <laughs> it's been a while. Hang on. Uh Object scanner is what? what what's my What's my object scanner? R. Okay. R. That'd be this. Ending input. I don't remember the shit I need for that, so I guess I'll do this first. Hmm. 
Oh, there's a safe station here. I guess I'll s um. That that's it's not a required thing. Uh, five, two, seven, eight. Login rejected. Figures. Zero, three, five, two. And it's pointing this way. So maybe that... 0352 might be the code for this. What's the code for the other one? 0353 for the other. Okay. Well, that's easy to remember. 0352. Aha! Whoa! Um, what? Why? Uh, shit, I can't see. Like that, okay. Oh, so my target's 20, okay. Shit, can I make that go faster? I guess not. So that was 20. And now we go for 0353 for the other one, and then we match the frequencies yet again. And then we're good. I'm a smart boy. Sometimes. Let's not get ahead of myself here. 0353. Oh. It's gotta be one of these ones, huh? So maybe that's why there's no gravity in here, because they expect you to... Expect you to fucking... Gale Gar... Gale Harland. What? Hey, John. I disabled the force field. It was pretty tricky, but I'm heading up now. Aaron, it, it's hard to make what you're saying. I'm, I'm getting a little stack. Are you on a stack? I kind of do want to head back, just to let you know what I said. Let's more scans and see where the interference is coming from before you head out again. Oh, sure. That's fine. I can head back, that's fine. Locked? Locked. John, the door panel's locked. I can't get out. I... I, I think I'll head up to the elevator. Hopefully the reception's better there. Okay. Here's something when you're there. Okay. Hopefully nothing scary is making him not work. Making his communication not work, because I don't I don't want this to turn into an actual horror game. I I like the light core thing from the SD01. Just Get me caught, but make me turn off security. Don't, like, kill me or anything. Deck 2. Uh, I, I don't need to be jump scared, thank you. I prefer to be hindered by robots that don't want to kill me. Thank you. This is just how I'd like to spend my day. Just, like, just not worrying about this shit. John, come in. I'm at the main lobby. He's out. What? No. No, 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 no. John, come in. Do There's something the away team are required in the re to report to the administrative office immediately. He's, he's not answering. He's not this able to answer. Good. Big ship. All alone. No communications. Ah, it's a typical Saturday night. Okay, Aaron. Keep calm. He's still out there. Yeah. He's still out there. This is an automated service announcement. Dear visitor, welcome aboard the Star Drop. Unfortunately, we are not able to verify your identity. You are required to register yourself at the administration's office immediately. Okay. Thank you. Administration's office. I can head office. over to the administration's office and take a look there. Administration's office is this way. Here we go. 
There's no one here. Should I just register my- What the fuck? What? Who is that? Who is this? Uh... Storage compartment. Well, no shit. Okay, what's this? Okay, the storage unit... There's no way to, like... There's no way to, like, make myself do something... What? Now, here's something in here. So, I'm at the administration's office, there's nothing here. Of great importance. By appointment, well, shit. I guess I'm not able to do shit. Oh, that's what that is. Interesting. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. Administration's office was pointless. Uh, alpha labs. Offices. There's something behind me. Aha! Data thingy. Wait, what? What did that say? To collect? I'm collecting stuff now? What was this? If I can collect stuff, maybe I should, uh... Oh, I can't collect that. That's pointless. What does this do? Nothing I can collect. Okay, so I guess the star dr the star drink thing is the only thing I can collect here. And that's it. Maybe I can collect this. Yeah, I can. Cool. I've got the ship. I got a drink. What else can I possibly get? Probably nothing of, val of great importance. Security... Alpha Labs. Seems this is the only keypad that's working. Maybe I can find a code for it. Maybe I already found the code for it. In the two data pads that I picked up. Uh, let's see. What's the best course of action right now is heading up the elevator. Hopefully the reception is better. Good luck. Maybe we can keep in contact with the objective panel? Like, can I give him an objective as well? Four three three six. Four three three six. Let's save real quick. Four three three six. Okay. Four three three six. There we go. Haha. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to stop here, though, because uh, I need to record other videos. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to Shrill and Leviel for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird, Darkcastle, 3DS, and Cat for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! -bye.